So welcome to the center. So the Wada Harunta Refugee Center Ka. In the community education program in Mai Mai. Yeah, or Barashada Ku Barashada Bulshada Lokata Mai Mai. I am Lisa Ann Devine, Traffic Safety Coordinator at the Center. I have this honor to um, have Pamela Baker Groton, Volunteer and Outreach Coordinator at the Alzheimer's Association, um, who will be sharing about the Alzheimer's Association. And I call it in Rogue, Balama, Becca, Carton, or Etta, and Hoff, Eska, or Hoffs, Ahan, and Kishaparita, or Barashad, or Dotka Baroita, Banka, Maskahada, Bulshada, Banka, Maskahada, Ama, Urka, Banka, Maskahada. So to begin today, um, we're going to start with um, a traffic safety component. Um, and about how um, elders can drive safely. So we're going to provide some hints for safe driving as we age. So many older drivers are very safe drivers. Some are new to driving and need to study the rules and practice with an experienced driver, just like a younger person would. Others have years of experience handling different road and traffic conditions. Older drivers are more likely than younger drivers to use a seat belt regularly and follow the rules of the road. Uh, we're going to talk about the ways to increase safety of older, older drivers. Um, so being careful about your health and taking simple precaution plays a big part in staying safe when driving. So our focus is going to be around a healthy body equaling a safe driver. Evaluate health to be sure we're in the best condition to drive. As we age, changes in our physical and mental health can affect our ability to drive safely. Health conditions that affect vision or hearing, the use of the, 
the use of our hands and feet. And cognitive abilities may interfere with safe driving. These changes do not always mean it's time to stop driving. However, it's important to recognize the warning signs. Compensate for them when possible. And plan for the time when it's unsafe to continue driving. So one thing that we need to keep an eye on, an eye on, is our vision. <laughs> so get regular eye exams. These help to detect vision problems or a need for a new glass prescription. Wear your glasses if needed for driving and make sure they fit properly. We also need to um, make sure that our medications are not causing problems for us when we're driving. Talk with your doctor or pharmacist to see if your medications can affect your driving ability by causing you to become drowsy, dizzy, distracted, or confused. Sometimes changing the time of day a medication is taken can make driving safer. Never stop taking medication without talking to your doctor. We also need to be able to hear to drive. Have routine hearing tests to make sure you can hear important traffic noises such as sirens and horns. If you use a hearing aid, always wear it when driving. Some medications can cause ringing in the ears, so talk to your doctor if you have any problems hearing. Well, 
Cognition can also <laughs> problems can cause problems driving. Keep your mind sharp to help you make quick decisions while driving. Tell your doctor or close family member if you can become confused or anxious while driving. Keeping our bodies fit can also help us drive. Activities like walking, dancing, gardening, golfing, or yoga can help you stay in shape and meet the physical demands of driving by keeping muscles strong and enhancing flexibility and coordination. <laughs> Make sure you're in the best physical condition for driving. Being in good physical shape can help you increase your range of motion. A driver needs to be able to turn their neck and shoulders to look outside in rear windows to see traffic that may be in their blind spot. So they need to be able to do this. Adjust your car to better fit your body. Raise the seat, tilt the steering wheel, adjust the mirrors. These make driving more comfortable and less physically demanding. Minimize distractions while driving. Turn off the radio or ask passengers to stay quiet. Avoid 
Avoid stressful driving situations. Travel during the daytime when the light is brightest. Stay off the roads during busy times and when the weather is poor. Plan your route before going. So if you think um, an intersection and other areas um, are confusing and would make it difficult to um, drive there, choose a different route. Um, Map out a route that makes you feel most comfortable. It's a good idea to take a safe driver course or defensive driver course. Some are available online and some are available in person, but maybe not right now. Um, the New York Safety Council has a course that's available online. Um, Gelati's Driving School has courses and MVCC offers courses. New York uh, Safety Council uh, dot com course along Gelati Driving School uh, course along MVCC on a course along. And there are others as well. Those are just three main ones. So contact the Center's Traffic Safety Program, me, um, you can, if you have any questions. So you can call 315-738-1083 um, and we will schedule um, a meeting probably on Zoom at this point. Thank you. Adi wal su alial ala kapta la saharir baraga na ugudumia ama ugudua ama mahalin ka baraga ram ka baru baraga ram ka aman ka baru duga RFG Center la saharir okay ala wadis wajitse lama ever leh bilika street yutika New York ama telefon kan isawer sedah hal shan tadab sedah sedet hal ever sedet sedah mahat seni Thanks for having me. Barahsenya and Adig and Tiana are sing sing the type solo and Arantan. Okay, I'm Pamela Baker Grant from the Alzheimer's Association. Ani bluma tabe grant ali dha o kadarera kaypta maskada hazusint na orkas. Currently, they're they're more they're they're. Excuse me. Currently, more than 5 million Americans living with Alzheimer's disease in the U.S., over 400,000 in New York State alone. Okay, and uh, in Cabo de Chameleon or Americana, yeah, me and I have a social on the Oconola and uh, offer Bokol committed to uh, New York, why they really. Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States, and without an effective treatment or cure, these statistics continue to rise. And, uh,
بدنته لح من لحظة إنك بدنته مريك عنك أو أي عن أنا حسوس لا أنت أو كجرت ح أن أن مركزي إلا هذا نجرت أن زائد سين غضاي You may have heard the term Alzheimer's and dementia used interchangeably. They are related but different. Okay, I'm not going to say that 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 I'm not going to say we are often asked, what's the difference between Alzheimer's disease and dementia? Dementia is a set of symptoms caused by a medical condition. These symptoms can include memory impairment, problems with language, decreased judgment, and behavior and communication issues. Alzheimer's disease is a cause of dementia symptoms. You may hear it discussed more frequently because it is the most common cause of dementia. Alzheimer's disease accounts for 60 to 80 percent of all cases. Uh, Alzheimer's is one of several diseases that can cause dementia symptoms, similar to how cold symptoms, congestion, cough, aches, and fevers can be caused by a variety of diseases, like pneumonia, bronchitis, and sinus infection. Okay, and to say loin ka alzheimer's and ka ya make a medaya and wahiala and badan or other badan or share now. Dimension, alamada had dimension. All the media, all the media, said that, and come alamada had to work, and alamada had abrunanta, alamada had kufa, alamada had hanuka, alamada had kanda. Yeah, hatta wehi may sababaya na wehial drop badan or shildum or said the pneumonia, bronchita. An infection or sinus ka you will have it. So the or she now alamada ha or other others. Alzheimer's usually occurs after the age of sixty-five, but may rarely occur in younger younger people. Okay, so the last one, but na may be la wada se da lehdan ya shanta, laki marmar ka karsho. Okay. People reach out to us for many reasons. Um, below is a list of um, some of the reasons. Disease information. Okay. 
ليسس كان تقرأ شنا سدا أن أو أي ولاجي أس أي أي وحياه بس ورك هنا بس أنا ورصدايا emotional support أن تعجير مسكحات caregiver stress سكوب أن دريال legal and financial options أن اختياريال أن بقالة هي شرعي safety concerns ولا عمول ولا أمروك أمان community services أذيجي بلشو care options أنا أختياريال أنا دريال activities of daily living أنا وحقبت إياه معلن لا نلاش معلن لها dementia related behaviors ببقان الحريرة أنا مسكح لآن Communication strategies. End of life issues. And family conflict. We are a nationwide organization. The Central New York chapter is based in Syracuse and covers 14 counties. Okay. The Central New York ch chapter provides a number of per support services, including all of which have transitioned to phone or online formats during COVID. Okay. Okay. Is bedelo your telephone online ah or merkasi inti or juri dan karana hajira. You know all our services are always free. Ona adi gyalke na amakal mo na dat onesio na kuli siya na bilash way. Okay. Um, the first service that I want to talk about is our twenty-four hour helpline. Yeah, this is 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. This is not just for crisis. Um, dementia experts are available around the clock to answer questions and provide connections to community resources. Our care consultations, these individual meetings look at current needs and help to create an action plan for the future. أنا وضع تشي دريال وشخصيات يا أنتي اللي كلونا شخصيات مستقبلك. Support groups. We have support groups for caregivers as well as for individuals in early stage of the disease. أنا إنه ما يقبل جروب أو تعيرة أو معناها سجوك تأه تطلع إنك والله إنك قبضة. Education and training programs. Education programs on a variety of different topics range from basic Alzheimer's information to legal and financial planning. We also provide training for professional care providers. We provide social engagement 
activities for individuals with dementia and their caregivers. Okay. We also provide scholarships to cover the Medical Alert Foundation jewelry with 24-7 wandering support. Six out of ten people with dementia may wander and get lost. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aside from care and support, there are lots of ways to get involved with the Alzheimer's Association. By volunteering as an advocate, community representative, or being um, involved in an event. Okay. If you have any questions or concerns, we're available and again 24 hours a day at the 800 number, 800 272 3900. Or um, online at alz.org. Okay. Thank you uh, for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming, Pamela. You're we appreciate welcome. it. Um, so, Ibrahim, did you have any questions did, for Pamela? Did anything sound interesting that you wanted to know more about? Uh, actually, uh, right, yes, I do have, but I thought before the dimension on uh, Alzheimer was the same, but today I just get the clarification. Mm -hmm. But in the community, how will they get this? How will they know it? Who? The difference, the, the community, the language. The community. Well, uh, um, to get the word out, you know, this yeah. helps. Every it time helps. we have an education program, it helps. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's yeah. it. That's it. All yeah. right, I don't have any so, questions. <laughs> and the center also has um, some community health workers. So if somebody's comfortable coming to the center and they want to be connected with Alzheimer's, um, I, I'm pretty sure those community health workers could help do that. Okay, that's fine. Okay. 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 Um, so they would call the center's phone number 738-1083. Um, sorry, is that right? Yes, 315-738-1083. Okay. Um, and I can share that last screen just um, so they can see that. So, so they can always call the center. Uh, number can or the refugee center can we and send the halshan. Uh, but if they're looking for Alzheimer's, say they, they, they'd like to be connected with the community health worker, not me. <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine.
All right. Oh, okay. And I'm sure the Alzheimer's Association would try to connect back to us if they needed to. Yeah. Okay. Oh. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you. You're Thanks, welcome. Ibrahim. You are very, very welcome, and, and thank you. you and, and nice to see you. Nice to meet you, Pamela. Thank you. You too. <laughs> okay. Bye. Have a good day. You too. Bye, bye now. Yep. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay. So I will see you at one. I'm going to end this meeting and then we'll hop back on. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. All Thanks. right. Have a good bye. day. You bye. You too. Bye.